Hello there guys, welcome back to my Scum single player. Now you can obviously tell where we are, we're still in the same place where we were last time. And that's because Mr. Thomas Laff himself has uh, provided slash leaked some information on this thing. I'm sure some of you have probably already seen it before. Um, so we're going to test it out, because you can use this thing to get something that is pretty game-changing, I would say. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. So, let's get into it. What you need... It's not that, that's the wrong button. What you need is <clears throat> ten bones, two puppet eyes, seven candles, a puppet head, and a lighter. So if we just put this away, and you have to place them in the center of this pentagram, basically. All of the items, just put them down here. Two puppet eyes. I hope it's two puppet eyes. And then the candles go around the outside. Make it look properly authentic. Puppet head. And then you need a lighter in your hand. <clears throat> but the most important bit is... It needs to be at exactly midnight. And then it should. Uh, why is it not working? Oh, there we go. It's happening. There you go. You see that? Equip cursed puppet suit. Oh, God, I hate that bloody thing. Uh, right, let's get rid of that. And here, where is it? There you go. Cursed puppet suit. So, let's uh, get out of here, because this place just gives me the creeps, like there is no tomorrow. And what this cursed puppet suit allows you to do... Oh, you can't get out that way, can you? Donkey. <clears throat> Need to go through the spiders. What this cursed puppet suit allows you to do is basically walk among the dead. Um, without being detected, without being attacked. Go, come on, get up there. So let's get outside. Come on, pull through, there we go. Right. Ooh, hello. This is a good test. So, as you can see, this dude is completely not aggroed on me at all. He can't see me. See, there's another one over there. I can do whatever I want. Well, no, that's not true. But, you know, I can jump, I can bunny around. But what will happen is if I attack him, this single one will then attack me back. But the other ones won't be aggroed on me. See? She's not interested in me at all. Let me just um, set it to daytime so we can actually see here. There you go. And that is what it looks like, basically. Just a nasty, blood-covered onesie. So it basically, I smell like them. So they leave me alone. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So I thought we would use this to our advantage. And go somewhere interesting. 
and see how well we can do with this suit on. The one thing is, though, is that the durability of this suit is very, very low. So one or two hits and you're basically, you know, it's going to be wiped out. So make sure that you've got yourself uh, a sewing kit on. And yeah, so I'll go, I'll head down to where I want to go and test this out. And I will bring you guys back there. Okay, we're nearly where I want to be. Uh, one thing I will say is wearing this suit in the snowy biome, you get hypothermia really fast. Like, mega fast. Um, so, just be warned about that. That you get it really, really quick. Okay, so... There is a petrol station coming up, and look, see, I'm already shivering and cold. You get hypothermia really quickly with this thing on when you're in a cold place. So that's something to take in to account. Um, just as an FYI. I know where they are. They're in here, aren't they? Uh, nope, not that one. Uh, this one. Oh, sorry, it's a horrible sound. Yeah, what I want. I want those two. Well, right. So, let's see what will happen. I'm assuming that the car <clears throat> will aggro. Oh dear, oh dear. I need to get this thing repaired. I'm assuming that the car is going to aggro them. And I don't know if there's any beepers here either. Oh, it's horrible. Uh, if there's any here at all, actually. Quite a big petrol station. Hmm. Okay. That's first. Oh, there is one. Oh, there is a beeper. Okay, so... Oh, this is risky as hell. Oh, I do not like this. Oh, this is dodgy. So it seems... Even if you're in the car, they don't detect you. Oh, get away from there, please. Oh. That's just wrong. Right. Where I actually want to go is to a bunker. Because... Oh, I have a sneaking suspicion that the sentries won't um, find you invisible. What? 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 Why? 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 What the hell were you shooting at? Okay. That was strange. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, as I was saying, I have a feeling that the sentries are going to detect you. I don't think that they will uh, ignore you, to be honest. I, I think they are definitely going to see you, but we're going to test it. Another thing that I want to test with this is the kill box. Now, I've never done a kill box before because it's not my... I've just never found them, you know, amazingly interesting. In a squad, on multiplayer, yeah, maybe... But uh, on, on the single player, I've never really bothered with the kill boxes. But what will be interesting is to see if it will actually work. 
in a kill box. Right, do we have everything? That's empty. Uh, let's just get this repaired up just in case. And let's also get this repaired up as well. Um, is there anything orange? I've got an orange. I can have something to eat. Let's eat that. Okay, right. I have no idea if this is going to work. This is a pure and utter test. So let's see what happens when I open this gate. If these things don't see you, then it's amazing. Okay, he doesn't see me. Did he see me? No. Okay, he... Oh, look. Oh. This is... I mean, do I just go up behind it? I don't know. I don't know what to do here. This may have been a bad idea. I'm even too afraid to test it because I don't want to get shot at. Um Okay, let's let's do this then. Let's just stay here. And see what happens. Oh no, as I suspected. Yeah, okay. As I suspected. So the sentries still still see you then. Okay. Whew. That was a good job. I didn't just go running in there. But what we can do... Is basically just walk around them now without having to worry about the puppets too much. Because the puppets don't see me. So... What we can do... Is just basically get straight up there and drop straight down. And then loot the entire bunker, I hope, without really getting spotted. Yeah, look, see, he doesn't see you at all. Hello, Bob. I mean, it kind of... Oh, shit. Okay, you go round. Yes, because you're stupid. And we go in. And close the door. Close. Close. Close the door! Jesus. Oh, there's a gun there. Ooh. Okay, might be able to get that on the way back. Right. Okay. So... Now you just basically... Go through everything. Ooh. And... Pick up everything and anything you want. There's no one can see me. And so far, this is a bit disappointing. And what you can do is you can just shoot those two and then move on to the next one and no one will know anything. Is where is that beeper? I'm also keeping an eye on the durability. Very much so keeping an eye on the durability. Oh, right in my ear. No, don't touch me. Oh. Metal pipe, that's crap. Oh, I'm a bit... So far, I'm a bit disappointed, but, I mean, this is a small bunker. Oh, another pair of knives. 
Okay, he was above me. Oh, well, at least that's him dealt with. Gunpowder. Oh. oh. I mean, this just doesn't feel right. It, but it, it kind of feels like you've put some kind of invisibility cheat on. Oh, there's two of them. A bit like God mode in a way. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. And we'll take that. Okay, let's just wait for these two things to go off. Because uh, I'll still die if they go off next to me. Screwdriver. Hello, canteen. Yes, we'll definitely keep you. Uh, remove and attach. Oh. oh, I also need to get rid of that from the wall. Oh. Wait. Right, there we go. Come on, go off, you two. Please. This is an office. Oh, some crackers. Whoa, there was three of them. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. And you see, they have absolutely no reason, no idea why they went off. They just went boom. How's my... Okay, it's still 99%. See, even that little fool, <clears throat> that little jump that I just did over the barrier to get to the main door, dropped 1%, so... <clears throat> you, uh, you really want to watch the durability. Of these things. But yeah, like I said, it's it's kind of cheating and it's kind of not. I mean, yes, this this to me is is cheating in a way. This you you cuz you're just basically walking among everybody and everything. And uh, you know, no one's bothered about you. See, he's over there. He doesn't give a flying It does have its advantages. I have no idea if this is going to be in the game forever. I hope they leave it in the game forever. Because, you know, if you're struggling, you're finding it difficult, it kind of gives you a little bit of a leg up and a little bit of a helping hand. I have no idea how it will work on multiplayer servers. Antibiotics? If everyone has access to one, or if there's uh, only... Oh, let's uh, replace that one for that one. There we go. Because that's bigger, and bigger is better in most cases. Um, so yeah, I have no idea how it will work on a multiplayer server. I guess <clears throat> that will be down to the admins to decide if there's only one or limited of them. I mean, I'm guessing they can add all of that in the admin commands, so. But yeah, it's kind of cool that you can do this. Little bit cheatified, like I said, but still kind of cool. Uh, oh, batteries, they're always useful. There's the kill box. Because you're literally, basically, just among the dead. Um, pick out one of them, craft a lock pick, pick lock, Ooh. come on, there we go, hopefully it will give me something useful, uh, anti-personal mine, eh. it, it, it's cool. It's cool, but I don't think I'll be using it. Me, personally, I don't think I'll be using it forever. I mean, in terms of... If you were doing a... Uh, survival story... On a... On a multiplayer server. You know, and you wanted a... 
Um, it could be good for that because you could say that you tore the skin off of a of a off of a a puppet, you know, and dressed up a bit like they did in that TV show. I mean, I guess this is where the inspiration comes from for it, because you you literally are walking among the dead. So I'm ooh AWP mag, guessing there's a little bit of inspiration from that. But like I said, I I'm not going to use it all the time. Because to me, it is a little bit cheaty, but that's not to say that I will never use it. Because it's it's quite a cool little gimmick, I have to say. Um, you know, I was kind of hoping for a little bit of better loot, though. To be honest. <clears throat> that's nice loot. Ooh, don't get aggroed. Ooh. I mean, you just, in real life, you just wouldn't test this, would you? You would have to be a madman to do this. Skin one, dress up as one, and then test a few... Another pair of night vision goggles. I me. Um, I've got three of them now. Because I can always sell some. A razor blade, and... Crap, okay. <clears throat> Where's the armory in here? Uh, but yeah, I suppose you could test it. I, I do want to test it in the kill box, I have to say. I really do want to test it in the kill box. Mm. The armory should be around here somewhere. There we go. Armory. This is what we want. Right. Give me all the goodies. Game. Mm. I can take one of those because I can use it for part. Come on, give me some good weaponage. Not gunpowder. That's poop. That's poop. That's locked. That's locked. Um, I need eight. Because there's four here and there's four next door. Whoops. But yeah, I suppose it has its advantages and disadvantages. So, crafting, uh, lockpick, craft, 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 craft. You know, you could put this on, you could be carrying a hiking backpack and have a hiking backpack on your back and just basically get into C2 once you've avoided the sentries, uh, if you have them activated, of course, uh, and just loot the entire bunker without even setting off a single shot. You know? And you would probably fill both of those hiking backpacks with all the stuff. And you may even need to return for a third trip, so... It's a novelty. Uh, it's cool, I like it. Sort of key card activates in C zero. We're in C zero. Do we test it? Do we test it? Really? Ooh, uh, I need a gas mask for that though. Ah, can you put a gas mask on with it? Yes, yes, you can. Okay. Let's turn that off. Take that off. Interesting. Um, interesting, interesting, ooh, hello, my favorite gun, how are you, how are you, I love you, give me, give me, I need to get rid of some things, wait a minute, please, uh, right, hang on, we can join up some of this, nine mil, I've got so many of these nine mil mags, I don't need all of them, I really don't, let's eat some Brookers. Well, not all of them though, because it will make me extremely dry. Mouthed. Dry mouthed. And then that will make me very thirsty. So. Okay, we'll eat all of them then, why not? 
got a little bit of space here. Yeah, look, see, I've got so many of these mags, I really don't need any more. Uh, what we can do is we can get rid of those four... No, get rid of those four bullets. There we go. And... So we need... We might as well put this on, I guess. Make it clear some space. Oh. And then we want... You, my lovely. <clears throat> oh, let me get rid of this. There we go. Uh, the problem is, is that I don't really want to die in the kill box if it doesn't work. Because then I'm going to lose all my good stuff, which I've just collected. Uh, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Because once you're in... Another site. You're pretty much in. Uh, more nine mil. I mean, it's a test. We'll see. If I lose my stuff, I lose my stuff. What are we gonna do? Come on. There we go. I mean, theoretically speaking, it should work. In the, um, uh, kill box. That's why I wanted this is the word I was looking for. It should work in the kill box. I don't see why it wouldn't, uh, if I'm being perfectly honest. Making a bit of space here. We do have some space. Uh, da -da -da. Join those. We've got a bit more 9 mil that we can put in this magazine. Because if we do do the kill box, then I should actually get some fairly decent stuff, really, if I'm honest. I hope. I can hope. Right. Uh, put that down there. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Sight, sight. Clothing, clothing. Those what we could do really is change that for that because it takes up less room. Right, and seven of them. Eleven of them. Right, now we should be good. Now we should be good. Yes. Okay. Anything in there? Uh, did I check that one? Yes, I did. Okay, so, basically, all we can do now, really, is go and test the kill box. Like I said, I have absolutely no idea if this is going to work at all. Uh, hang on, before I do that, let's just check if there's no more armories down here, because I'm not 100% sure. There's a lot of puppets down here, though. That's the offices. Offices, offices. Very rarely come to this bunker, so... I'm not awfully familiar with its... Hello. How are you? I'll leave that site because I've really got to. I'm not awfully familiar with its layout. Uh, no, no. I mean, there is tons of stuff I could probably still be looting here, but... Uh, don't want to spend all my time with this suit on, like I said. But as we got, as we got the key card, let's try and do this kill box. Ooh. Yeah, let's see. Now I'm thirsty. Ooh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, let's have a drink. <clears throat> All I've got to go on is a pistol and a shotgun. Really. I don't have anything else. Let's just make sure this is fully loaded. Uh, unlock using keycard. Hello, dear contestant, and welcome to the kill box. I have no idea if this is going to work. Well, I'm sure you'll find out. 
Oh, there's nothing I can do because I haven't got any pliers or things, have I? Oh, I'm such a donkey. One wrong step, though, and you better start running. It's a kill box, not a gift box. Uh. Okay. Hmm. I don't think that's supposed to happen. C4. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are supposed to be locked, aren't they? Which is a little bit strange. Maybe that's a bug? Holy moly. Well. Ah, uh, okay, I've got so many of these. Yeah, I think... This isn't right. I'm pretty sure these are supposed to be locked and have um, an electric electrified fence around it. Ooh, god damn. Uh, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute here, wait a minute here. We gotta make a little bit of space. Okay, they're in. Uh, I don't know what to do here. To get rid of some of this stuff. Because I want the good stuff. Bucks. There we go. VSS. AS Val, sorry. AS Val, not VSS. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to get rid of. Get rid of one of these. Take that. Get rid of the C4. Well, let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of... Hmm, I don't know. A bottle of water. Here we go. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't supposed to be like this. Yeah, look, they don't see you. So it does work. With the, um... With the suit, then. You can use it with the suit here. But I'm pretty sure... Uh, ghillie suit, boots, katana... Oh, no... So many good things. I'm pretty sure this isn't supposed to be like this. So I have no idea what's going on here. Like I said, maybe it's a bug. RPK mag. So, yeah. Don't know. AK-15. Okay. Okay, this is just getting silly now. But, you know what? I'm certainly going to use it to my advantage. Why the hell not? Where is that AK-15 up there? I really want this, though. My favourite gun. There we go. All that stuff will have to just stay there. And that's it. So you can do it. Basically, just in and out. I have no idea why those were unlocked. Because these... Maybe those are unlocked, but these, as far as I know, should be... Uh, locked... 
I'm locked. They should be locked <clears throat> with a um, electrified fence, and you need the the rubber gloves, and you need the you need the plastic. Um, not the plastic. You need the no. Don't want to do that. You need the wire cutters. Um. So I have no idea what happened there. It may be a bug. It may be a glitch because of the update. But either way, I'm certainly glad we went in there. Oh, get away from me. Because that was awesome. Oh, to be able to just get all that stuff. And the only problem is... Okay, 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 okay. What is that? Ooh, we need to run away. <laughs> leave me alone, leave me alone. Okay, we're out. Oh. Oh. Okay, so that was a good run, but I felt like I cheated, so yeah. Still, a lot of weaponage we just got there. No idea what happened with that kill box, it, honestly. It may be a glitch, something, I have no idea what happened with that. But yeah, look at all the goodies we got here. An MP5 SD, AS Val, AK-15. This is the first time I've ever found... Did you just come out? No, you can't do that. He's, he's not supposed to be able to do that. He came out of the... the, the the fence. I have never in my life seen them do that before. As far as I know, they were only supposed to be allowed in the <clears throat> in the the compound, the fenced compound itself. But he came all the way out of the main gate. That's a tree. That's crazy. I've never. Okay, let's get away from there. I've never seen that before, ever. Well, what can I say other than that was amazing. Crazy, but amazing. If I'm perfectly honest. Uh, AK-15 mag. Hello. So, yeah, the suit in my opinion, it's awesome. It's a cool little thing. It shows what the devs can do with with this kind of stuff. So, you know, the missions in the future, which they've been talking about, and um, and stuff like that. It is uh, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. But it does kind of feel a little bit like you're cheating, like I've said. So... I've used it the once. I kind of exploited it a little bit, you know. But well, no, I, I guess no, that's not true. I didn't exploit it because it, I did what it's designed to do, and that is to be ignored by puppets. And you know, it works in the kill box. So I'm sure a lot of people will be using it in the kill box now, uh, just basically to get whatever they need. Um, and you know, th that's what I said with the. With the traders, you know, it, it kind of feels like they're making it easier, which is not what I personally want. You know, it's nice to have them, the traders, don't get me wrong. It's nice to have this suit, don't get me wrong. But it kind of takes away the whole point of looting and survival aspect of it. 
because you should really be, you know, looting, finding a way into the bunker without getting detected by the sentries or the puppets or taking out the puppets and getting in a way in. You know, with this, it's just like I said, it's basically an invisibility suit, not against the sentries. But so, yeah, it's I've used it. I liked it, but I don't think I'm going to use it again. You know, it's like I said, I don't even know if it's going to be in the game full time. It may only be part of the Halloween update. And after they um, they do the patch to, to clear the Halloween update, they may even get rid of it themselves. So who knows? Who knows? Um, who knows? But I used it to my advantage. I got three weapons out of it, which, you know a win in any situation and I'm just loading them all up now so I can have a, a little play with the AK-15 uh, I did have one more mag of those yes I did there we go nine mil and I have to say the mp5 is one of my favorite guns ever it, it's just so iconically cool uh, the mp5 in any version so yeah I don't think I'm going to use it again. And like I said, with those kill box and those doors opening, I have no idea why that happened. Um, no clue what happened there. Maybe a glitch. It may be patched. Maybe my game just glitched. I have no idea. This is early access, remember. So it. Uh, there are going to be a few little bugs here and there. That's to be expected. Look at this thing. It's just so good absolutely love it and then what you do is you put that on it you put that on it i actually prefer the red dot on it myself but uh yeah red dot there we go so good the mp5 it really is uh paper let's get rid of that right uh ak-15 mm. ak-15 suppressor Put the ACOG on there. Reload it. This thing's also a beast. Oop. Change firing mode. Single fire. There we go. Put that in there. That in there. Get that in there. And then the last one is the AS Vowel. One... Burn pack the rest of them? Oh no, there they are. Wonder why you only got three with um the AK fifteen, but you get four with the AS Val. No idea. No idea. But like I said, I'm gonna use it to my advantage, because now we can go into some better places. Haha. -ha. So there you go. You know how to do the uh get the suit if you want it for yourselves i don't think anybody actually discovered it by themselves if thomas lad hadn't have put that tweet out i don't think anyone would have found it because the combination you could have used you know i did see a couple of people who who brought an animal and slaughtered an animal on on the pentagram to see what would happen but uh what i think they should do is if they do things like that in the future they should give you some kind of riddle to it a bit like the riddler from batman you know just a little hint nothing too complicated but a, a really cool little riddle that would hint you or you'd have to figure out so you know like a um like a puzzle basically an in-game puzzle would be pretty cool because if if he hadn't if thomas lad hadn't tweeted that that information regarding the um the pentagram and, and the puppet suit, then I think it probably would have been missed from this Halloween update and not seen. Who knows? There may be more stuff lying around the island that people haven't found yet. Um, so he may still tweet out something else in a couple of days saying something else. So uh, basically, we just have to wait and see. Uh, that should be... I don't need the key card anymore. We can get rid of that because that's been used. Uh, ACP. That's also 9mm. Right. ASVAL. 
Do you need a... Yes, you do. Red dot. Reload. Here we go. Uh, check firing mode. What are we on? No, I don't want burst. I want single. There we go. More control. Nice. Uh, that's for the AKS. Okay. Oh, armor piercing. I didn't even realize I picked those up. But yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. Um, so, a little bit of a cheaty episode, let's say. But either way, it was fun. I tested it. Next time, we will be, uh, you know, back to normal. Um, but we will be using these weapons. I'm not going to get rid of those so quickly. <laughs> um, so, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll catch you all on the next one.